That was probably the worst ever footage of kangaroos. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Oh my goodness, it is so bright today. It's about midday and I've just gotten to the property. I may have overslept this morning, which is typical for me to be honest. But Michael's already out here. He's over at Norman's Paddock doing some fencing. I've just got some scraps here that I'm gonna take down to the chickens. We have got a lot of work to do this morning or this afternoon we have got all of the wood to try and finish off our chicken coop the chicken coop run um, so I think that's what we're gonna do for most of it today I gave the floor in the chicken coop a bit of a rake out the other day and put it all the and put all the poop in my um, compost heap the two new boys thanks Rodney the two new boys are doing pretty good they seem to be getting along quite well I just got some half-eaten pear. I thought there was a lot more vegetable scraps in that than bread, but turns out it was mainly just bread, so lucky that I don't get bread very much. I might head over to Rodney and just give him a little piece while I'm there, just so that he's got something extra as well. Hi. So before we go and head down to the chicken coop, we're actually gonna pull out all of our hay that we've got here. As you can see, we're running a little bit low, um, but Michael went this morning to try and find some more and was only able to get a hold of five bales of lucent, which is quite bad. They've got a limit of five bales per person due to us being in like a pretty bad drought at the moment. Um, not many people have hay and they are limiting it to five bales per person, obviously. Pull all of these the five bales out. We're gonna rake all this hay off of the ground. Um, and then we're going to bring some wood pallets from outside, put them there, and then we're gonna sit the bales on top of it. Lucent today I bought was like twenty dollars a bale, but crazy during summer when when it's wet, you know you can get it for like fourteen dollars a bale. So yeah. same with the grassy stuff. Like they didn't have any of this this morning. They've all sold out because grass isn't growing at the moment, and it's normally you can normally pick it up for about eleven twelve dollars a bale, but I think last time I bought it was like fifteen or sixteen. So mm -hmm. just goes to show you, you buy in the right time of year when it's growing and they can harvest it then you can save a bit of money and yeah, it's just a matter of working out how much you need to 
get, get through the winter. Mm. We do have 35 acres at the moment, but not all of it is fenced off. And um, we can't really move them around into other sections of the yard until that is, until we do have the paddock set up. So, as you know, obviously we're trying to set up the paddock right next to Norman. Norman will go into that one as soon as we finish doing that. Um, then we can go through the paddock that he is at the moment, pull out any weeds and just throw some fertilizer to try and improve that um, pasture. We've also got uh, a company coming out in the next month or so, isn't it? Hopefully the next couple of weeks, yeah. The next couple of weeks, just to do the front paddock. We're calling that paddock down the front, Drover's Run. So we're gonna name our paddocks eventually. You guys might be able to decide on what we call one paddock if you want to. Um, but yeah, Drover's Run is going to be one of the biggest ones down the front and we're paying somebody to come in and fence that for us because it's just too much for us to fence by ourselves. And that's the front one we're actually going to be using big wooden um, posts. Wooden posts rather than star pickets like we have done with Norman's paddock. So um, it's just easier. And it looks better being the front entry to the yeah. property. Yeah, looks better and it's just easier for us just to get somebody else and do it for us. So we're just going to get the loosened out of Michael's car that he bought today and stick it on this other pallet and then we're going to head down to the chicken coop and start getting some of that done. Yep. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> you guys should smell this lucid. Oh my goodness. You can even just see the difference in colour as well. Like, it smells so good. So that's our new hay situation. We got the loosen there, which is more of like a clovery type grass. We've noticed that because it's really green, if we give it to our girls and they tend to get really bad diarrhea, and this is just the hay. Look at the color difference. Loosen smells way better than hay does. I don't know about fresh hay, maybe the fresh hay smells really good too, but loosen smells amazing. We also got another bag of chicken grain. So we're sort of like shopping around at the moment to try and find some cheaper grains as our uh, flock is in increasing. They're going through a lot more grain than then they're going through a lot more grain than what we used to. So the other week Michael went to a different produce store and we got some grain that looks like this. There we go. There's a lot of sorghum. Um, there's only a couple of sunflower seeds throughout this. There's bits of corn and is that wheat seeds? Right there? Is that wheat? I don't know. Might be barley. Yeah. We're thinking about getting another drum as well just for laying pellets. They don't tend, like, I've noticed that whatever chickens we've had, they don't particularly like the laying pellets. So, um, but if it's there, then they're going to eat it because they're going to be hungry regardless. So. But at the original Bill Carr homestead, we re like our girls wouldn't eat these little red seeds. I call them Milo. It's, it's sorghum. Sorghum. Um, but these these chickens seem to eat them, so I don't get it. I guess if they're hungry, they're gonna bloody eat it, aren't they? All right, so let's go down and work on the chicken coop. So I think for the moment, what we're doing is we are just doing the frame of this chicken run. So, as you can see over this side here, we've got three panels that are going across the top, middle and bottom. Um, so we still need to put the top rail across this one here. Um, and what we've done so far is, is we've put the three rails on this bit here. These two. And we've put, and we've just got to do the last one on this side. So we're going to try and do the framing, and then we're going to, depending on how much time we've got left, we might try and put a bit of wire on it. We're just doing your standard chicken wire around the outside, and we have got plans to put some tin on the the roof, um, just to sort of catch a bit of rainwater, and we'll put a little tank at the back and hope that you know we can feed them water from the rain if we ever get rain. Here's 
seven eggs a day. We have got one more post to put on this side here. We are losing light, unfortunately, so we'll probably have to finish putting the last one on. Um, we, could practice, we could actually probably get those last two on there today, but then we'll finish this one here another day. Um, obviously, once we finish building it all and constructing it, I will do like a uh, chicken coop tour. <laughs> is that even a thing? I don't know. It is now, it will be. Anyway, we're going to finish that. Um, I have no idea what this video is going to be. Normally when I'm filming it, I have an idea in my mind as to how I'm going to edit it and everything like that. But this one, I have absolutely no idea. So, sorry if it was a dodgy one. But, um, yeah. I guess that'll be it from us on this video. Au revoir. We have something to show you in the next video too. We're going to show you that water station filly uppy thing that one of you asked for. Um, we don't know if you've got them in America or if they're just different or wherever you are in the world. Um, you might have them, but somebody just said, oh, what is that? doesn't look like they don't think we've got them wherever they're from. We've also got some new water troughs for the cows. So we'll show you that one in the next video. But yeah. Till then. Until next time. Au revoir. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. We're probably going to come into our property up there. Yeah, we're Well, <laughs> that was probably the worst ever footage of kangaroos, but we were literally just sitting there building the chicken coop and I was like, oh look, there's some kangaroos. And I'm like, kangaroos, grab the camera, quick, grab the camera. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Oh, that's probably gonna be the worst footage too. That was, he there was heaps of them. Normally there's like a little cluster of like, I don't know, maybe like, Oh, no, don't see anything, please. Normally there's like clusters of like three or four of them and whatnot, but there was like 10 kangaroos just like all jumping around like crazy, so. Hopefully you got a little bit of it. We'll definitely try and get some more, some better footage in the future. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just leave that in there for you. All right, bye guys.